In this tutorial, we are going to learn the rip command in the SOLIDWORKS. Go to front plane, sketch and draw a simple geometry here. Draw the shape like this. I am not going to define it. We are just going to see how the rip command works. Go to feature and extrude it. Use the mid plane and extrude up to 60 mm ok now the body is created go to front plane sketch and take a line command and start from here to create a line up to this edge again go go to feature and take the rip command now preview is created now here is a direction row direction you can change the direction by clicking this arrow now i am going to select the arrow downward towards the surface and click ok the rib is created now again go to edit feature now here are thickness options the first one is the first side both side and the second side let's try this if you select the first side it will create the rib in one direction only this one is for the both side and this one is for second side now i am with both side now you can change the extrusion direction by selecting these options you can change the thickness of this rib suppose if it is 15 mm it will create the 15 mm width rib you can select the contour also click ok now the width of the rib is increased with respect to the previous rib again go to edit feature now this time select the draft you can use the draft in the rip command let's say it's a 10 and provide the angle any angle select 10 mm and see the result now draft is created go to this space and normal you can see the draft clearly again go to the rip edit now let's select the draft inward uncheck this draft outward and provide the 10 degree okay in this way the rib is created between the two surfaces now select the another sketch now here is a body with the two cylindrical surfaces now we are going to learn how to create the rib between the two cylindrical surfaces first of all i have already created this rib now delete this rib we are going to use the leaf loft and split line command delete this sketch also now go to right plane sketch normal now draw a line and try the previous method to create the rib join the two edges with the line go to feature and select the rib now preview is available you can change the direction ok now the message will pop up is saying that the resulting rib did not intersect the existing model that means zoom it to see it's not touching the this is of the body so how to do it let's see delete this line first exit the sketch and delete this sketch now go to this face sketch normal and select a center rectangle here start any point 
and draw a sketch like this i am not going to define it you can define by select providing the proper dimensions now we are going to use the split line to create the profile in the cylindrical faces go to feature and in the drop down menu of cop you will fly find the split line now sketch is already selected now in the faces to split select this face and this lower face and click ok now you will see the profile created in the cylindrical faces now go to feature and select the loft boss base select this profile and this profile you can drag the points here and click ok now the rib is created between the two cylindrical surfaces delete this loft and delete this sketch also now again go to the right plane normal draw a line again from this point to this point this time draw a line slightly above the the line it created the curve delete it select the line and draw a line make sure that this line is just above this point in the circular surface take again line and draw a line in this face also now go to the feature and select the rib this direction is ok and select the now the rib is created but it created the rib just below this surface if you want this type of rib you can use this technique also now we have another application of the rib also now I have already created this model go to this face sketch and normal now create some lines here again take a line command draw a line now I am going to draw another type of line this time draw a curve now go to feature take the rib command now you can see the preview but if you click ok it will create the rib automatically up to the next edge this is another application of the rib in this way the rib command works in the solidox i hope you learned something from this video please subscribe our channel for the more tutorials and projects in the solidworks thank you for this time